right, so the first step which you're going to do is we're going to create a Shopify store account, uh, which is like 14 days free trial. So you can just click the link, which is somewhere around, or you can just go to Shopify.com. And right over here, just simply enter your email address. Like it can be any email address. Your Gmail address would also work. Yahoo address would also work. This is just for creating an account. Click on get started. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so that, that's just for uh, one of my extensions, which I had. So I just change this details over here. So if you are doing this for the first ever time, nothing would be pre-filled for you. And the store name, which I'll keep is official dogs, lover, uh, lovers, whatever, right? Let's click on create your store. Obviously you can change your name your store name later on so it doesn't matter if you want to have that right now which is yet fixed a couple of people might have the tendency that you have to have a good name in the initial state but that's fine just have random name you can have your own name as well you can change it later on uh, tell us about uh, yourself please click I sell with a different system I'm not selling products yet you can select any one you just have to go ahead yes I'm designing developing a store for a client nope this is for, just for myself I'm gonna quickly enter all my details. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this any dummy address like 204. I generally keep this dummy address. You can later on change all of these details, guys. It's just to pass on this stage. Uh, five Gujarat. Number is not required. This is optional. I guess you'll have to enter the number. So let me just enter my uh, number. Business name, this is optional. Click on enter my store. And go. You have just created your online store. Right? You have just created your online store. So now right over here, you will see various different things. You will see this uh, left hand side menu where it's you where you see home orders, products, customers, blah, 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 online store settings, uh, which I'll go through each and every section in a while. It says, welcome to Shopify Pratik Singh. Uh, here's a couple of tips. Don't worry about these tips. Select a plan wherever it says your trial just started, select a plan and this particular blue line will be always there unless until you don't select a plan. So this will be there uh, till 14, next 14 days. So let's say after 24 hours, it will be written over here. Uh, you have 13 days left, you have 12 days left and so on, right? And this is your name, you can just click on this, your profile, health center and blah, blah, blah. So if I, let's say if I click on select a plan, what will happen? Either of these buttons, if I click on select a plan, it will show me three different plans. Uh, one is 29 a month, 79 a month, obviously it's in dollars and 299 a month. Now the basic difference between these three and I would personally recommend this second option which I will personally go with uh, when I let you know in a while. So this particular option actually uh, is similar to this one. This is for high end advanced Shopify users who have a lot of things to do uh, once they have their store. So obviously you want to change it over here later on that is like different game. But in the initial stage, you have to create uh, two different plans like either of these ones. So either 29 a month or 79 a month. Now the basic difference I'll let you know is uh, this one, that is whenever a transaction happens, one person transaction fee is there over here. It's 2% over here. Over here, staff account is two. Over here, staff accounts is five. So this is like basically if you are running a company or let's say if you want to give access of this admin panel of your store to somebody else, then those people are known as staff account holders. So that is two over here. This is five over here. This is 15 over here, but this is least concern right now. So we'll talk about these two. Now, other, another main difference between these two is over here, what happens is basically in e-commerce, if you are a brand newbie, I'll try to keep everybody in the same plane. So if you know, you might be surfing on an e-commerce website, you add some product to a uh, cart and then you leave that site. You don't order, but all of a sudden then you start getting emails regarding that you already have your uh, you you place in product in the cart and you left it out over there so you want to click on this and buy now with this coupon code and blah 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 so those kind of things are abundant cart recovery the one which is mentioned over here right so people who have added something in the cart and then abandoned cart people 
uh, like the business owners want to capture them again so they want to send automatic emails so if you select this plan Shopify will automatically send emails to all those people all right all those people sorry and over here that won't happen so the basic difference between 29 a month and 79 a month is these things like 1% fee and 2% fee and staff accounts is actually least uh, bothered about but this is more important because if you don't have sales 1% transaction fee and 2% transaction fee won't matter so once you have this it's beneficial so i would recommend personally 79 a month but depending upon you you can go with each or any of them right right now i'm not going to approve uh, upgrade i'm going to keep its uh, trial version so i'm going to click on home and now first and the foremost thing you have to check your um what do you say you check your theme right you upload a basic theme for that i will give you an idea i'll try to go on google and i'll type my shopify.com now this is my personal way there are a lot of people who do different ways but this is my personal way i generally go to my shopify.com and then i type any niche the niche which i want to work upon so let's say i am uh, running a dogs store dogs lover store so i'll write my shopify.com space dogs lover all right dogs lover let's say dogs lover and i'll see all these websites so all these website uh, websites are shopify websites so let's suppose uh, we'll check the top five let's see how they look so this is looking like this all right all these things this is not that good let's check the second one so this is looking plain and decent good enough so they have all these things powered by shopify if you can see let's go into any one of them so good feeling over here as well they have this description long description and recommendations as well bought this also sale button and such kind of things so this is one which so this is just to get an idea right this is just to get an idea about the themes and look and feel of what people and customers or your competitors are basically using now this is high fi high definition because they have a lot of products right when you see uh, when you try to see a couple of things you get an idea that what kind of things they have a lot of things they have a lot of stuff they have a lot of stuff all right so basically you can just spy on these kind of things let's say the last one this one all right so this is also good so we'll try to build something like this all right we'll try to build something like this one right now so let's close this and let's go back to our store so the first and the foremost thing you have to check your theme you have to upload a theme that you can do by clicking on online store you get two options all right so click on themes by default it's on themes and scroll a little bit down you get two options free themes and shopify theme store now free themes is basically you don't pay anything shopify theme store is basically a theme store so if you click on that it will open up their store where you can purchase a theme which will give you a zip file then you can upload that on uh, shopify so these are the paid theme themes right so let's say i search for elegant the one which uh, we were talking about so elegant here it is and if i go for just paid this is the one if i simply go with free then this is the one so if i click on this so this is how it will look all right view demo let's click the demo this is how it will look for men's or oh, desktop style let's go into any one of them I just want to see how it will look when it is added to a card and this looks good. If you see that on mobile, how it looks like on mobile. So this is how it's looking on mobile, individual and if you go into home, let's say category. So this is how it's looking. All right. So I'll click on install theme for this one. Publish as my store's theme. So it will start downloading and installing your theme. And it says your theme has been installed. Let's click on go, your, go to your theme manager. And it's uploaded. So let's close the earlier tab. And now if I try to see my store, 
on a different tab, this is how it's looking like.